continuation of that theme. Now, uh, the other event that fully uh, brought the city around in recovery from the fire was the great, uh, the World's Columbian Exposition of 1893. Has anyone read The Devil in the White City? Yes, a number of you. Um, so you know how important that event was to Chicago. It was basically the celebration of the 400th anniversary of Columbus's arrival in, in North America. Many cities across the country wanted to have this fair. They sent their po local politicians to Washington to lobby Congress. Chicago was successful. The New York Times had a journalist that was not very happy that New York didn't get the um, fair. And he called the politicians from Chicago a bunch of windbags. And that is how Chicago got the nickname the Windy City. Because of our windy politicians and not our windy weather. Now the fair was a, a big deal. Daniel Burnham was appointed the planner. And uh, they, uh, him and uh, Frederick Law Olmsted, who designed Central Park in New York, was the landscape architect. They laid out a, 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 the entire city down on the south side of near what's today Jackson Park. It was there from May 1st until November 1st of, of um, 1893. Uh, the buildings were all white. Uh, they were designed in a classical manner. There were canals and boulevards. It just knocked the socks off of everybody that went to see it. It knocked their socks off so completely that they went back to wherever they were in the country. They demanded their cities be better planned. It led to the rise of the profession of planning. Many very important city plans were